everyone welcome back to my channel so i was trying to do like swatch reviews of my birthday goodies on my page beautyholics but i have really really bad internet connection because i have sprint so don't get sprint so i'm going to be doing the swatch reviews on my channel and i'm going to start off with the little stuff that i got and then i'm going to build up to the nikki tutorials and the serpentina palette it's not much i promise so let's start off with this stuff that Sephora gave me. It's some um, like face products, some skincare products. And this one's the Rose Face Mask. And it's infused with real rose petals. I don't know if you can tell or not. But it's actually been working really good for me. I got this like a week before my birthday, about there. And I've been using it ever since. And right now, my birthday was on the 19th. And then right now we're on the 23rd. So I've been using it since like almost the beginning of the month. And this is actually turning out really good for me. Uh, I do notice a difference in my face and everything. It's been really, really different. And I really have been enjoying these products. These are deluxe samples. And I will be purchasing full size um, of these products. And then... I got some other little stuff. I got this uh, Kat Von D Wolf's Mouth from the Studded Lipstick Collection lipstick. And it is so beautiful. Like, so beautiful. It has like so, a slight sheen to it. And it's like a dark, dark purple. I really have been enjoying this lipstick. And if you guys haven't used our Studded Lipstick Collection, you guys will not know that these suckers stay on forever, like forever. They're hard to come off. And then, of course, I had to get a new tube of my Better Than Sex mascara, which I love. And I'm sure all of you know about this mascara, so there's no need to do a review about that. Another small thing that I got was this Rimmel Exaggerated um, Lip Contouring thing, whatever. It's a lip liner. And it's in the shade uh, 024 Red Diva. And it's so nice. I haven't used the Rimmel ones yet. Until this one. My mom got it for me. And they're so creamy and buttery. And they just fly it on your lips. And I really, really, really have been enjoying this. Last little thing. Is I got these Classic Charm Vegas Nay Lashes. And they are actually really, really nice. I use these like a lot already a lot and they actually come with lash glue which actually works pretty pretty good this is how they look I had to like put a little piece of tape right here so that they would come back on and I wouldn't mix up which side was which and this is the little glue that it comes with they're really really beautiful kind of like a natural everyday kind of lashes if you do your makeup every day you're really going to enjoy these lashes because if you don't feel like wearing those big you know lashes that completely look fake and stuff then you're really going to enjoy these and with my nikki tutorials i just got these which i haven't tried and then before i get to the serpentina palette i am and the Kat Von D, I am going to do a swatch review on this one. My mom bought it for me. I really, really have been enjoying it. It's like your everyday palette. It's called the Vintage Filter Sephora Palette. And like, look at this packaging. It is just beautiful. And it's like this hard plastic with this like nice opening over here. I don't enjoy that it doesn't go all the way back. And the mirror isn't too great of quality, but... Uh, for the most part, most of these are pretty well uh, pigmented. Like, here's Memory Lane. It's a nice gold that I think a lot of you will enjoy. Look at that. And then, this one I really, really like. It's called Secret Bador or Bador. I don't know. Look at how pigmented those are. I will say, though, there is one or two that I was really attracted to and weren't so pigmented, like for example, Distressed. I've been using it as a transition color a lot. It's not too pigmented, but just pigmented enough for me to use it as a transition color. I don't know if you guys can tell it's there. It has kind of like a peachy pink undertone. I can definitely see it on here, but I don't know if you guys can see it through the camera. But these colors are beautiful. I've really, really been enjoying them. There's this green one right here. It's like a dark, kind of like greenish. It's called Throwback. 
And then this one, check this one out. This one's rustic right here. Where did I? Okay. Look at that. It has like this shimmer to it. And it kind of reminds me of this, what's it called? In the Serpentina palette. It reminds me of Queen from the Serpentina palette. And let's see. Cookie Cookie Crunch. This one right here. Look at how beautiful that is. And Cashmere Coat. That one's like a nice, like, gray kind of color. In person, it does have, like, a purple undertone kind of thing going on. But it's still really beautiful. And this one's like a similar color. And this one's called Antique. And it is really, really pretty. And I think that is all the colors. Yep. Yeah, that is all the colors. So these are the swatches for this palette. Um, is it worth almost 50 bucks? I don't think so. Um, I definitely don't enjoy this kind of packaging. I like the magnetic closing from some other palettes. I don't like this and I don't enjoy plastic um, kind of packaging to me. It just feels more cheap. It just, I don't know, if you drop it, I feel like your product is just going to fall and break apart even more. Uh, are the colors beautiful? Yes. If you are into neutral kind of colors, you know, like these, this is definitely for you. They're definitely your everyday kind of colors. Um, I believe it's 45 to $49 on Sephora. I'm not too, too sure. Now let's go to some other stuff. Okay, this is the last stuff and I'm going to get to the Serpentina palette first, I promise. I did get two uh, setting sprays, uh, one from one of my good friends, um, Ingrid. She got me the cool and hydrating setting spray and of course you guys know these are wonderful and from my mom i got the oil control one which i really really need because i'm oily and it actually does work it does help uh keep my oiliness of my face under control so if you guys are oily i definitely do recommend this setting spray from urban decay now to the good stuff okay this is the serpentina palette and i like the packaging i like how it um has magnetic closing and i like this little design on the sides and it says that she was uh, she was inspired by Cleopatra or something like that to make this palette. One bummer that I noticed right away as soon as I opened this that I did not like is this. You open it and one, the mirror was placed on the top part of the packaging. So it doesn't allow you to flip all the way back like some other ones like that's right here so for example I have this Monarch palette and it is placed in the bottom so it goes all the way back as you can see and I really really like that this one they put it on the top oh no I'm getting a phone call damn it people why are you calling me now sorry <laughs> okay let me fix that real quick I might have to cut that off but whatever if not I'll just leave it Okay, another thing that I really didn't like, for example, I'm going to show you guys with this one, which uh, this one's discontinued. It's the Monarch palette by Kat Von D. And if you guys see over here, for example, okay, this one right here, which is this beautiful highlighting color, right behind it is the name of it. Uh, Tiny Death, which is the center one, right behind it in the center is the name of it. So the name of it is right behind its actual product. In this palette, I'm going to show you guys right here. You guys see right here, I have the glitter right on my finger. To my left, your right, if I turn it around, it's on the opposite side. The glitter's over here. And the names over here so they put the names backwards they're not lined up right behind each other so if I show you guys this, this is blood milk it doesn't say it back here it says it's profit so I didn't like that I kind of got confused for a second but other than that they're really really great pigmented colors the only problem is that okay I swatched these already do you see the mess 
when you swatch them, they are so chunky, like so, so chunky. They are hard to swatch without having all this fallout everywhere. And I'm going to show you guys these swatches right here. Blood Milk, which is this one right here. And then Medusa, Ankh or Ankh, something like that. And then Queen right below that black one, which is a uh, queen. And then that orange, which is like something, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, hieroglyph or glyph, I don't know. And then you have Nile, which is that nice bright blue. And the worst one out of all that was so hard to swatch that you can see is actually the messiest in my palette. Just touching it alone, you start having all this like loose um, sh shimmer going everywhere and all this pigment. And it's just horrible to swatch, but it's such a beautiful color. It's Scarab, something like that. This green one right here. And then you have Nile, no, sorry, Venom, which is this beautiful purple right here at the very bottom. And then you have Prophet, which is the actual... Um, glitter there is only two mattes which is blood milk and venom which is this one and this one right here this purple and this red which i really really like they don't feel too buttery they feel more on the chalky side just a little buttery uh these feel kind of buttery um i say the best to swatch are ankh and queen these two and the rest are hard to swatch. I tried doing a look with them. They were hard to work with even with a brush. But they are pigmented as you can see. And look at how beautiful that loose uh, glitter is. It's like so pigmented and beautiful. But is it worth the money? I say because the names aren't even lined up in the back. Which is something so simple to do. And they are just so hard to swatch. And I tried um swatching them with my brush wet with some fix plus and they were still doing this i don't say it's worth the money uh you definitely can't do like a full look with just this palette alone they will be kind of hard to pair up as you can see they're really bold and vibrant colors so it won't be that easy to do it but is it worth the money if you are a really big fan of Kat Von D and you like these kind of colors then yes definitely worth it the packaging is cute like always but the back of it no I didn't like how they couldn't even line up the names like seriously it's like expensive for them to not even be able to do that and now I also just received this this morning it's a Nikki tutorials uh, collaboration with Too Faced which I was really, really, really excited about. And I still am. And I haven't even done a look with it. I'm thinking of doing one. Here is the package that comes with all the small goodies inside here. I was, I kept trying to rip it open. <laughs> and then I realized that all you gotta do is take a Ziploc bag and just open it. Da -da -da, Karina. All right. So it comes with this small deluxe sample of the Better Than Sex Mascara. I did swatch this on my hand just to see that it was all good and everything. And one big letdown was that, look, I'm like, I have to like scrub my hand with it to get any pigment. If I just touch, oops, hold on, that was with the tip. If I just touch, there's hardly any pigment coming out of that mascara. Versus my actual big deluxe, not deluxe, full size mascara that's in black just with a small touch without having to press in or nothing you can see that i have a lot of um color coming off so i didn't like that i feel like it's a little dried out but i'm just gonna try to put some beauty oil in it or something and it also came with this little nikki tutorials this way um kind of like sampler thing to show you some looks and how to do them like little tiny tutorials, which I really, really enjoy because I wasn't like too sure what I wanted to do, but I kind of got an inspiration from these looks to do one. And then it also came with a full size uh, Too Faced sketch marker, which is an eyeliner. I think it's so cute. They actually made it look like a pen or something with this right here. And it's really, really, really black and pigmented. Look at that little line. I love it. 
I'm really excited to use this because I was actually running out of eyeliner, but not anymore. I don't have to buy some for a while. It also came with two more things in this little baggie, which is a deluxe sample of the 24-hour insurance um, eyeshadow insurance, which is a primer. I used this before. It works really, really good. Um, if you guys have problems with creasing on your eyes or something like that, you definitely want to go for that one. It works really good, really, really good for that, sorry. And then you have to be careful with this. This is the loose glitter and glitter, glitterly, glitter, glitterly, something like that. I don't know. Let me try to show you guys. Glitterly, it's glitterly, glitterly, glitterly. That's what it is. You definitely have to be careful with this. It, I made a mess. It doesn't come with a sifter. So you want to kind of just like do this real quick, you know, like just to have everything from the sides fall back down, kind of like a cigarette when you tap it, you know, just so that everything kind of like packs back down. You kind of want to do that and open it very, very, very ever so carefully because it does not come with a sifter. I was like, seriously, why? Look at that. So, so beautiful. And I might as well do a little swatch on that already. So you definitely want to use um, some Fix Plus or something when you use this just to avoid a little less fallout everywhere. But it is really beautiful and I really, really am going to enjoy that. That's everything that came in the little baggie. Now let's get to the actual palette, which I am so excited about. I can't wait to use it. Let's stick this back up. Okay, so something I really liked about this box, I don't know if you guys will appreciate this, but I did. There's like a separate compartment for the actual bag and a separate compartment for the actual palette, which I really appreciated. I feel like it makes things a little more organized and I really do like having everything organized. It is a little thinner than you would expect, like other palettes, for example. It's even thinner than this Sephora one right here. I don't know if you guys can tell. And it's thinner than, definitely thinner than the Serpentina palette. It's thinner than pretty much most palettes. It's really flat. I say it's not even like an inch wide. But let's get right to it. Oops. I forgot. Sorry. It comes with a little plastic thing to protect all your pigments right here. So I'm going to put this to the side real quick. And when you open it, it's so beautiful. Look at this. Just look at it. It's so beautiful. I do wish they would have put like a little tiny mirror or something in here. But it, I mean, it's whatever. And it does go back, I think. Yeah, it feels a little stiff when you do it. But let's get started with the swatches. So let's start off with Ivy. You know what? I got to get these colors off. Let me pause this real quick and get these colors off because I'm going to feel weird doing it on my right okay I'm back I washed my arm and I let it dry so let's start off with Ivy this one to me was a little bit of a letdown it's not as pigmented as I thought it would be I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot more bright and like opaque is that the word I would use I don't know opaque I don't know right away but it's not, but it's still really beautiful and really pigmented. And then this was the one I'm most excited about. It's sugar coated. It's like this baby pink with like little shimmer in it. And it is so beautiful. Look at it. Yes. There is a tad of fallout with these, um, but not that much with these colors. But look at that. Look at that. That is the color right there. Okay, Frosted Yum right here it's a silver but for some reason to me it has like a little bit of a blue undertone i may be tripping i don't know but let's swatch this color which is also really really pigmented and really really beautiful look at that yes yes i'm loving this and now irresistible this nice gold over here this one definitely has a little more fallout. I can tell right away just by swatching it. But it's still really pigmented and really beautiful. It's like a nice, almost like a true gold kind of, you know, shimmer 
color. I really like it. And now let's go for painkiller. Let's see if it's really a painkiller. Here's painkiller on my tattoo. Ooh, wow. I covered part of my tattoo. That is really impressive. Let's see how it blends out. Nice. I like it. So far, it looks like a painkiller, but you never know until you use your brush with it. Now let's go for makeup and chill, which I don't like the name for some reason. I feel like some of these names are just too long and too like, not out of the ordinary, but like they were trying too hard when they named these. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels this way, but let's swatch makeup and chill, which is right next to painkiller. And it is so pigmented. But it's not as dark as I thought it would be. But I still really, really, really like it. And now let's get for the, uh, now let's get to the good colors. Um, um, Mystic Hour. Let's check this out. This one definitely is kind of like this gold one. Which one did I say was the most? I don't know. But it definitely has more fallout than the other ones as well. Oh my god, look at that. That is insane. I love it. I love it right away. And now let's get to Wham Bam, which is the one I'm more excited about out of all of the colors. Yes, yes, look at that. They have like a slight sheen to it, not really too like shimmery or anything, but they are beautiful. And now Wanted, which is this black color right here. Wow, that is really black. I really... Really am enjoying this palette. It's not as black as my Kat Von D or my Gwen Stefani palette to black colors in there. But it is pretty black still. I really, really like it. Now let's get to the blushes. I will always love you. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's like too long. Like you're trying too hard. I don't like the names. I don't know. And it's like this peachy kind of blush right here. It's kind. It's really pretty. I like it. I'm not too sure if it's fits my skin tone too well but i really really like it just my love this nice like hot pink almost kind of like i like that too but i don't know if it'll fit me as well maybe in like in a very light hand kind of way because these are like a little too you know i don't want to look like a clown and i am kind of like a weird skin tone between dark and light now let's get to this is supposed to be able to contour for all skin tones and like a bronzer kind of thing but she did say you should be able to contour all skin tones with this i did swatch this one earlier i don't think i'm gonna be able to contour with it it barely even shows on my skin i think i might be able to bronze with it i don't know like light bronze i don't know if you guys can barely even tell it's there so if you are like anything of my skin tone and above if you're above my skin tone, you can't even use this as a bronzer. Maybe as a transition shade on your um, eyes, possibly. And then this one I swatched earlier as well, as soon as I got it. Look at that. Definitely, definitely a highlighting color. Not as pigmented as I expected it to be, but very, very beautiful. I really, really like it. So that is everything swatched. Let me show you guys again. These are all the colors. Definitely this little section is my favorite and this purple, of course, I might mix these two like she did. Hopefully I get a good payoff and this um, highlighter is a good highlighter, but not as pigmented. But like I said, you can't even tell where that bronzer shade is at, that contouring shade. If you are my skin tone or, or above, you know, any darker, you might want to use that as a transition shade, kind of like, because if you look at it, they're pretty similar painkiller and chocolate soleil or something they are pretty much the same thing so and this is meant to be a transition shape so imagine this so are they pigmented yes they are they're not as pigmented as i thought they would be some of them like for example this brown one wherever i can't even find it um where else these aren't as pigmented as I thought it would be, the blushes. And then this pinky color, I was hoping it was a little more vibrant, but it is beautiful. It is worth the money. And one thing about the packaging is that it doesn't feel like your regular cardboard. It feels like 
soft and silky i don't know and i think the packaging is super 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 cute with all the pink and the gold little flares of it i really really like it i think i'm scared to break it so i'm just gonna put it back in its box um was it worth the money i say so yes i think it's like 59 dollars or something but my husband got me this for my birthday and it just arrived today and then I was like, yes, yes, let's go get it because I didn't answer the door, so I have to go to um, the post office to get it. Uh, one thing, though, we do order through Ulta. They do take forever if you're on the West Coast. It took me almost 10 days to receive this. My husband was paying attention to Nikki Tutorials. As soon as she said that you can purchase this, he automatically clicked on her Ulta link and went to it and purchased it within a few seconds. And I just got it today, and it's the 23rd. And it came out, like, on the 15th. So it took about 8, 9 days, almost 10 days to receive this. Um, but he did order from Ulta because there was reviews about Sephora not bubble wrapping everything. So there were uh, people were receiving stuff broken. So I'm sorry if that happened to you. Try to order from Ulta. They're slower, but they are bubble wrapped. It came in a big box about yay big with lots of bubble wrap. It is definitely worth it. Super beautiful. I can't wait to do a look with it. I am super excited about it. This one, I say... It's great for a pop of color. If you're a big Kat Von D fan and you don't care that these are chunky and a little hard to work with, then go ahead and get it, especially for blood, um, milk blood or blood milk, whatever. This red color is really, really beautiful. So thank you for watching, everybody. I'm sorry that the video is so long. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I hope you guys come back to my channel. If you guys have any requests with these palettes, a look or something, I'm not the greatest makeup artist yet, but I'll try to work something out. So anyways, thank you. I hope to see you guys back here next time. If you guys like this video, please click like down below. And if you guys have any comments, just go ahead and comment and I'll respond. And if you guys, um, I'm, I am going to name everything that I showed on here in the description box below in case you wanted some of this stuff and you forgot the name of it. So thank you and you guys have a good day.